Hello everyone, my name is Shai Shui Pegas and I'm from Peihua Secondary School. My team name is Phoenix. Come, let me tell you a little bit more about myself. I have been actually doing robotics since a very young age, the age of five. And I know many coding languages as you can see. I know Swift, Arduino, Python and EV3. I have actually been participating in RoboCup for four years now. I am really, really happy that my teachers have given me the opportunity to do so. Come, let me tell you a little bit more about my challenge. I have been participating in Coast Base Autonomous Driving Q19 category, and I face quite a lot of challenges on a daily basis. Some challenges that I face are that it's not really accurate when I program my robot. Many times the program works, other times it doesn't. So results aren't really accurate. Another challenge I face is not being able to finish the map under one minute. I feel that this is a greater problem as even if the results aren't accurate, even if I make it once or twice, if I cannot finish it under one minute, I do not meet my own personal goals and criteria. Some methods that I use to help me solve my problems and challenges. I feel that asking for help is the best method. This is so as we shouldn't be ashamed in order asking for help. I freely ask for help from my peers and teachers when I require it. Another method is trial and error. I repeatedly make small changes, very minor changes to my program while I do it so that it can easily be reversed if it doesn't work. I experiment with my program in order to see how well it works. I actually use GUI to program, and it has its own pros and cons. It's like a double-edged sword. Some pros that it has is that it's very simple and easy to understand, and it's less messy. But just like everything else, it has its cons too. It has many restrictions and it is extremely hard to input complex code and accuracy is affected. For example, when I timed myself along with my other CCA mates who use C or Python to program their robot, their robot was significantly faster than mine. I feel that I needed to adapt to that and use GUI's pros to win against my competitors. So, I figured out a way to make my program more accurate while using UI. To make each checkpoint and color marker more accurate, I applied variables by detecting each color and writing down their values. Then, I stated them as a variable before applying them in the advanced condition and advanced action boxes. This was a very, very small trick that I had learned from my seniors who had graduated last year. The game. Every year in the Coast Space Autonomous Driving app, we are given four to five maps from practice. This year, I practiced on the delivery challenge map, which has multiple routes to solve. My trick was to finish the outer ring of the map first, then finish the internal part of the map. However, I realized it was extremely inefficient, so I decided to reprogram it to finish the inner ring and outer ring at the same time. This is how it will work. So when it first detects the first checkpoint, it will then take a left turn and detect the second checkpoint, which is inside the second ring. After the second checkpoint, it will take a U-turn and then come back out to the main ring and go on to the third checkpoint. This process repeats, because if you look at the map clearly, you can notice a pattern. First checkpoint, second checkpoint inside, and then third checkpoint outside again. It's like a letter T. Besides this, autonomous driving can be applied in the real world. For example, it is widely used today in today's modern world in train return robots, Tesla's and even Singapore's train signaling system. It is also used in many other places. For example, recently when I was coming home from school, I just saw some autonomous police officer robots. There are robots with CCTV cameras mounted on them and motion sensors. They go around the train station and other public spaces looking at crime, 
and monitoring the peace in that area. Autonomous driving can also provide our disabled and elderly with more mobility and independence. Besides this, it also holds great potential for businesses like free transportation and the utility services sector. For instance, if you deploy autonomous systems at night instead of during the day, we could ease traffic congestion by 50% during peak hours. Last but not least, I would love to end off with a quote from my favourite book. Working hard is important, but there is something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. This quote is from my favourite book, Harry Potter, and this applies to me a lot in everyday life. This is so as, even if I work hard, I will not succeed as long as I do not believe in myself as much as my peers, teachers and parents believe in me. Thank you.